Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I have a swatch and comparison video for you today. These are the new Gel Bottle Ink Spring Collection Gel Polish Colours. And I think these have been out for about two or three weeks. They've been available to buy as a complete set. So I know some of you will have these in your collection already. But I thought I'll do a swatch video because I really enjoy watching swatch videos so I can get an idea of colours and different shade comparisons so i'm going to do that today for you now all the swatches you're seeing will have two coats and i'm going to be doing two of each color one with the new formulation extreme shine top coat and one with the new formulation matte top coat so you can see how they look as well so first up we have gossip and i would describe this as a very pale pink color really lovely and subtle so I've just gone ahead and compared it to a couple of colours. This is Daisy, which is the pure white, just so you can see how pale it actually is. And then here it is against Pastel V101. And then we have Miami. This is a super bright pink. This is going to carry you all the way through summer as well. It's gorgeous. So here I've compared it to Water Lily. And then here it is against Jilly. Now it may look similar on camera, but in real life, these are definitely different. So I've just lowered the exposure just so you can see the slight difference there. And then I put it next to Angel Wing and you can see Angel Wing is quite a bit darker. And then this is in comparison to Thermo T2. So this is Flame, a gorgeous pastel orange and I've had to lower the exposure so you can see the true colour there. And I compared this to quite a few colours. This is Coral Touch. And then we have it next to Sunshine. And then against Peach. against Thermo T3 and then I put it against August. And then we have Elderflower. I would describe this as a neon pastel lemony green colour. It's really nice, it would be great for summer as well this one. So here I've compared it to Pastel V110. And then I compared it to a couple of neon yellows. This is Freesia. And then the last one was King Cup. And please remember, these are colours I'm comparing it to in my collection. This isn't the whole of the gel bottle collection. I'm just comparing them to ones that I have. And then next up we have Breeze. And I would say this was a pastel minty blue colour. <laughs> And here I've just compared it to Tiffany, so you can see the shade comparison. And here it is against Emerald. The next one is Neptune. This is a beautiful sage green and I really tried to zoom in because the green has a very slight gold shimmer running through it. It's so pretty. Now I really don't have many greens to compare this to, just the ones that I did for the last two. So this is in comparison to Tiffany and then again to Emerald. Literally cannot wait to use this colour. This is Blue Lagoon and it's like a tealy turquoise colour. Absolutely adore it matte. I cannot wait to use it. So don't really have anything like this in my collection, so I really only had Tiffany to compare this to. So next up we have Lime Punch, and you really will be needing your sunglasses for these. I had to lower the exposure just so you can see the pure brightness and neon of this one. So I've compared it to the neon yellow, which is King Cup, and then I compared it to Emerald, just so you can see the green shade comparison. I love this one as well. This is Palace. This is right up my street. This is a lavender periwinkle colour. Love this one matte as well. 
So I've pulled out a few blues and purples to compare this to. This is against electric blue. This is against magnetic M34. And then against Californian. And then against V93 Purple Rain. So next up we have Naked and my daughter has this on as we speak. She loves those nude brownie colours. And this is like a coffee cream colour. It's just lovely. So I've pulled out a few of the nude shades that I have. This is against N93. And then this is against Petal, just so you can get a shade comparison. And then here it is against N29. And then I put it against N133, just so you can see how light that colour is. Next up is Vegas and I am praying that the gel bottle bring out more colours like this because it's just stunning. It's like gold leaf in a bottle. It lays so flat and smooth. Now on here I have got two coats but I definitely could have gotten away with just one. It's just beautiful. So the only colour I really have to compare this to is one of the diamonds and that's coffee diamond. But as you can see... Vegas is definitely more of a gold leaf. Diamond has bigger chunks of glitter in it. So because it lays so nice and smooth, you can do such lovely glitter fades with this. It would look amazing over any colour and it just blends seamlessly into the nail. And once you put that top coat on, there's no bulk or anything. So last but not least, we have Flamingo. And this is a pink with... A slight purpley blue iridescence running through it so it gives like a nice pearly finish now I don't have anything to directly compare this to but when I was applying this I knew that this would be great for layering so here I've just laid one coat over Blue Lagoon Palace and Miami and it gives a beautiful pearly iridescent finish so those are all the swatches and comparisons to what I have in my collection. Now as it stands they are still available as a set on the website and I will leave links in the description box below. I do believe at some stage they are going to be sold singularly so either make sure you're in the gel bottle group or signed up to their newsletters just so you get a notification of that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.